And my nightstand on the creepy door is my eyes shut. So like, that's why I come back. Early. Oh shit! What the f was that? Did you see? Yo! Spooky, scary skeleton is cruising down your spine. <laughs> it's time to get spooky. Today we're gonna be reacting to ten scary videos from all over the place. By yours truly. Did you see it? Let's get right into it. The children have the uncanny ability to connect to the spirit world. That is in true. In some cases, even see or communicate with the other side. That is true. In this next video, a father is home alone with his son when the toddler seems to spot something truly bizarre. Mama. Mama. <laughs> Your mama isn't there. There's no one there. Mama. Are you seeing ghosts? Yep. <gasps> Bro! In another Bro! video posted by Kurt Harris, his family is visiting his grandmother in Chicago when his little cousin Daisia says something that is down. That's actually true. wild. That's the man come to see me at night. Who come to see you at night? The man. What oh. man? What man? What man? Up here? Uh-huh. Bro. <laughs> I don't need that. Little Daisia claims that Bro. the relative in an older photo on the wall visits her at night. Now the only problem Bro. with that is, well, he did. He uh, did. Uh huh. <laughs> I don't he did. In fact, the man in the photo passed away in 2005, Damn. over 14 years before Little Daisia was even born. Damn. She has never even met the man, or did she actually meet his ghost? Probably. You decide. Probably, bro. Up there? I believe uh -huh. it. <laughs> I don't need The Crescent Hotel. I believe it. Built over 138 years oh, ago, nah. the Crescent Hotel in Eureka oh, Springs, nah. Arkansas has become infamous for its dark history full of death and tragedy. Based off the way this location looks, yo, if this video goes absolutely insane, I will go do a 24 hour challenge in this hotel by myself. Let me know. Give me a. Uh, 50k likes it's probably not gonna hit that so yeah 50k likes leaving the hotel with the ominous name quote the most haunted hotel in america Ooh, the most haunted the hotel, hotel in america was a treatment center run I by a man named apartment, norman bro. baker baker claimed that he had quote the miracle cure for cancer what of course these claims were completely false and hundreds of people lost their lives within the walls of this building oh, hopelessly damn. waiting on a cure that would just never come some of the patient's remains were said to be scattered on the property. That's a bold statement to say I found a cure. Now with a history like that, it's no wonder that today many of the hotel guests claim to have had terrifying paranormal encounters. Oh shit. And some of these experiences were even caught on camera. Oh shit, okay. Four years ago, Jennifer Cronister was visiting the Crescent Hotel with her mother it's when she accidentally captured name. something truly creepy. Cronister. Girls trip most haunted hotel in america and my nightstand on He's the creepy door is my eyes shut so like, that's why I come back. oh shit what the fuck was that did you see yo when slowed down it becomes clear that something moves in front of jennifer's camera what the fuck that resembles a small child oh my god that scared me i don't usually get scared at ghost videos bro that scared the fuck out of me what the fuck but that's not all a woman named angelina and her daughter were staying in room two oh my god in hotel Oh my he god, I kind of regret what I just said. Building, oh my god, I just regret what I just said. Fucking hell. No chance, dog. In fact, it's claimed that sometimes this ghost is actually Man, seen no bitch falling ghost, from no the weak balconies ghost. Don't get no into the garden thing. below. So, it's six in the morning and Angela <laughs> is outside her room enjoying her coffee. And then, <laughs> this happens. What? I don't hear shit.
I'm not gonna lie, like, this one, like, it could be coming from above or below her. also a bit excited when she hears the voice of a woman singing from the balcony right next to her. Nah. Because it's gotta be like there's above her no shit. one over there. Angelina says that she was a bit creeped out by the experience, but she is also grateful to have captured what she believes is the voice of a spirit. Can it be above her or under? Oh, never mind. That's close. Oh, shit. Knock, Damn. knock. Oh no. Late one night, a group of friends decide to film themselves taking a spooky dare at a local school that is said to be haunted. Knock, knock! The story goes that Who's if you go there? to the back of the school it's and Johnny! <laughs> the door, someone or something will knock back. I don't know where that came from. Go! Go! What the hell? Knock on it, knock. Knock, go! Do, do, do! Knock harder. Let him know. <laughs> Let him. A sudden loud scream sends the girls running in terror. Let him. Now, unfortunately, the original creator of this video has basically disappeared off the internet. Bro, what? So for now, whatever happened next remains a mystery. We need scary videos. Bullshit. So if you've seen one or even filmed one yourself, contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. School's out. School's 14 out. years ago, Mark Doty visited a private school in Seattle to use the school's recording studio to lay down a new track. Mark sets up his camera in the school hallway and is about to record a vlog for social media. But for some reason, he just isn't feeling well and is having trouble keeping focused. Eventually, he just gives up. Much later, Mark is going back through the footage that he recorded at the school. What he sees chills him to his core. This is the video. Okay. Okay, um... Uh... Uh, this, I'm not gonna... This is, I'm not doing this right. Um, okay. Look in the background. Reflections. I can't even see myself. Oh, oh, just, what was that? Did you see it? Wow. The eerie translucent figure of a woman dressed in a long white gown can just barely be seen walking down the staircase. But as the figure suddenly turns the corner, it becomes very visible, but then it disappears out of sight. Mark is completely unaware of what's happening right behind wow. him. But for some reason, he feels confused and unfocused. This is like old as hell, now, it's too. worth mentioning that Mark has dedicated his social media and YouTube channel exclusively to his music. This 14-year-old footage is the only video on his channel that has anything to do with the paranormal. That's crazy. The unwelcome guest. Wow. And niggas don't believe in ghosts. <laughs> Workers at a mid-sized hotel in Los Angeles, California have noticed strange things oh, happening hey, on the hotel's school, second that. floor. That's These odd hell. incidents usually seem to occur late at night. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, low-key, like, what if the whole hell concept is like you get your own personal hell, and your own personal hell is what you hate the most, and that could be, for some people, retail, other school. We're getting crazy calls from this room that is unoccupied in the second floor. Okay. I think it's two, twenty. Yeah, two twenty-six. That's right. There's the phone. No one's calling. No one's here. Everything's chilling. A worker at the hotel says they've been getting frequent unexplained phone calls from an empty room on the second floor. Huh. He goes to check but he finds no explanation for the bizarre calls. There's no one staying in that room. But did you hear it? After I carefully analyzed this video, I noticed something odd that neither the uploader or his viewers seem to catch. Bro. Now I've isolated and enhanced the audio to make it easier to hear, but listen closely. Bro. 
Without knowing, the hotel worker seems to have caught a creepy EVP of a voice whispering, why, as he walks down the second floor hall. But that's not all that the late night hotel staff has captured on video. During a slow night of work at the hotel, a girl named Brooke and her coworker decide to pass the time with a fun little race challenge. They put their phone in the hotel's elevator on the third floor and attempt to race the elevator down to the lobby to pick it up. But then things just get weird. Oh my god. The elevator hangs Fuck. on the allegedly haunted second floor. God damn as it. the doors continuously open that and close. That fucking bullshit for ass no fucking jump scare. What the hell is that? And strangely enough, another unexplained voice seems to quietly say, "Hello?" Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cut to another night at the hotel. Brooke decides to record as she and her co-worker are busy arranging furniture in one of the vacant second floor rooms. The video was meant to be a random vlog showing what they do on an average night at work. But when she looks back at her footage, she finds something that is no, pure right. oh. nightmare fuel. <laughs> pure <laughs> nightmare fuel. <laughs> Oh shit. Anyways, so my sister she graduates in two days and I asked for the whole weekend off. Yeah. There's a being in the mirror. What do you want to talk about? Where the mirror should go? <laughs> yeah, actually let's do our job. Okay. okay. Alright. Chat, should the mirror go here in this corner? The right corner. Okay. Or in that corner. Did you see it? For a brief moment, a dark shape can be seen standing in the opposite corner of that the That thing room, is tall as fuck. Really watching the two young women as they work. But when they pan the camera back over to the corner where the dark figure was standing, there's nothing there. So, is this LA hotel haunted? Or is it all just a very elaborate hoax? Hey, what you the decide. Hell? A cry That's a nigga. for help. Late one afternoon, two teenage girls are hanging out in the woods near their home. They're taking pictures of a red rose in the forest for an art project for school. They begin to hear something very strange coming from the woods nearby. They start to get a little freaked out and one of the girls takes out her phone and captures this disturbing video. What if I screamed to scare the blood demons? They would mimic your scream. Oh. That never scared me anyway. Maybe it's just a bunch of kids trying to summon demons. In the forest we're in? Yeah. Sounds like fun. <laughs> the more you listen, the less scary it sounds. The more I listen, the more scary it sounds. Why is it sound like it goes now? Oh, 
Yeah. I think I know what it is. I think it's a hyena. So a hyena someone? No. The two girls hear bizarre screaming coming from somewhere nearby in the woods. But the two teenagers, apparently fearing demons and hyenas, are pretty freaked out and decide to just Obviously, hurry Obviously, I home. actually needed help. One of the girls tells her mother what happened, and her mom makes the very wise decision to immediately call the police. The local authorities arrive and search the area, and in a tragic turn of events, they find a woman in the woods desperately screaming for help. The woman's husband had suddenly lost consciousness and quickly passed away out in the middle of the forest. Oh, damn. The woman cried and cried for help, but it was hours before anyone came. Now, unfortunately, nothing could be done for the man, even if the call had been made earlier. But this very sad story is a good reminder that scary sounds aren't always something scary. Calling the authorities just, like, just might save a life. That's true, but it's also like a GTA mission, bro. Like, you know, like when people are standing on the side of the road or even in Red Dead Redemption, they're like, help me. And then you fucking go help and then they rob your ass or even try to fucking murk you. Secret Shopper One night at around 10 p.m. at a discount store in California, Rodney, the store manager, is busy processing some inventory in the stock room. Rodney is completely alone when something happens that sends chills down his spine. I want you guys to focus on this area right here, okay? Hold on, let me uh, speed this up a bit. All right, watch. Look. Oh, Boom, shit. you see that? Suddenly, for no reason, a box falls from the high shelf in the storeroom with a loud bang, freaking Rodney out. But as he reviews the store security camera footage to show what happened, he suddenly hears a strange sound coming from somewhere inside the store. He goes to investigate, and this is when things get really creepy. Is that you? Yeah. <laughs> Look, look, I'm here by myself. Nobody's here. It's just me. See that? Sure that's every angle? Come out. I'm not afraid of you. Is that you? I threw down the box earlier? Come on out! You don't scare me! Big ass store. Come on up. Oh, yep, start cursing at the ghost. He's trying to mess with me. Ooh! What the hell? Oh, shit. Rodney searches the store to find the source of the strange sound when suddenly he feels a weird tug on his hair, almost as if something is touching him. He goes to check the store security camera and his blood runs cold. Look, there I am right there. Look, oh, what that? the hell? You see that? Oh, hell no. Nah, nah. No, 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 no. It looks like something pulled Rodney's yep. hair. 
Now, Rodney posted his video to show what happened to him, but has chosen to keep his identity and the location of the store a secret. Uh, it, I didn't want to be labeled this store as the haunted store. So I got you my store, some crazy things happened, and took some video, and that's about it. So is this a real paranormal encounter Damn. or not? As always, I leave that up to you to decide. Emergency. Definitely real for show. In this next creepy video, three no that that's students not real. are working the night shift, and it's a bit of a slow night on the job. So, to pass the time, they decide to set out to explore an abandoned and allegedly haunted section of the hospital, the old out-of-service hospital emergency room. Uh-oh. You guys. Oh, I've seen this video. Haunted ER. What about it? We're gonna go. No. Haunted ER. Haunted ER. Throughout the hospital's many years in operations, countless patients died in this section of the hospital. The most recent tragic death being that of a young child. It is said that the ghosts of patients who passed away still haunt the old ER. So the three med students make it down to the abandoned old emergency room. And yes, things are about to take a terrifying turn. I'm gonna look good too. Oh my God, my head is huge. Stop. Chloe, so I can't even... Huh? It's just close to the camera. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. We got a chance for the haunted. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Is this like... I'm, I'm not excited about this. I didn't even hear what she was saying. It feels like a, um, we're getting on a... Uh... Are you nervous? Are you nervous? Why are you nervous? Because it's hot. <laughs> are you nervous? Yes. You know, the red, the red, uh, nurse one is probably bad. Yeah. Yeah, it did. It moved. Why it moved. It, it moved. Yes, it did. Why it did. Move? How do you not see that? Oh, oh okay. No. Nope. Oh no. Nope. A curtain moves on its own, and a cane falls to the floor almost as if it was pushed. The three medical students are completely freaked out and just run right out of there. Nope. Yeah, that shit haunted as hell. A new top five viewer and YouTube gamer Cynical. who goes by the name Professor Cynical reached out to us about some scary, unexplainable events that have been happening at his home in England. And that kind of stuff happens all the time now. And bro, the, the hell? Even though Professor Cynical is, uh, well, cynical and a skeptic, he says that ever since his family moved into their home four years ago, things have happened that he simply can't explain. Late one night after being awakened by strange noises, Cynical gets up and starts recording. What happens next is downright creepy. Don't worry about that, that, that was my uh, freshener going off Orbs. automatically. Eight minutes, bargain. Orbs. Yeah. 
Nah, man. Nah, 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 nah. What was that? What? Nah. Nah, nah, nope, 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 nope. I am f***ing moving out. Cynical is shocked when he sees the door to the kitchen move all by itself. Oh, what the? But it gets even creepier. Can you make something move again? Can you make anything move? Bro. Cynical is <laughs> the scare of a lifetime. Yeah, and suddenly a chair forcefully slides towards him from all the way across the room. Professor Cynical says that, that he be now believes his house might just be very haunted. And he thinks yep. that he and his family should maybe just move out. <laughs> Graveyard shift. Japri is working a late night shift on ambulance duty as an emergency medical I've technician. As he's driving the ambulance back to base, something happens that he simply can't explain. Something absolutely terrifying. All right, so I'm not this sure is how, to, um, how to talk about this, but well, first of all, I've been an EMT just for a little bit in. Like, I ain't never experienced nothing like this. So, So as we driving back to base, I swear I seen a face in the rearview mirror. Like, send some as you can. For I need to turn this engine off though, cause like we're gonna be stranded out here. Yeah, yeah, as soon as possible. Oh, shit. Hey, thank you. I'm not trying to go back in this truck. I don't know if you see it, but can can y'all see that back door? Like it, just, like it just flew open. Like can oh nah, what the? F what was that, bro? Can y'all see it? Nah, hell no, nah, that nah. As Japri is reaching in to turn off the Spirit engine, in there. just off camera, the back door of the ambulance flies open on its own. Okay? Japri is shocked and jumps back out, leaving his phone behind. Now he eventually returns and grabs his phone, but then Japri and his EMT partner see a strange unexplained shadow darting back and forth inside the ambulance. Japri says he was so shaken up by this encounter that he called his employer to come pick up the ambulance. He says he just took an Uber home. Bro, if you guys did enjoy that video as very much as I did, and if you guys scared, make sure y'all drop a like and smash 
that subscribe button, especially if you guys are new to the channel. You feel me? You guys can use code Vincent Takeoff for 30% off on all of your G Field purchases. Now, we'll be at Twitch coming up. If you guys are going to be there, make sure you all stop by the G Field booth and come say hi. And until next time, make sure you remember this one thing there's only one of you. I love you. Peace. Go.